It has gone mad. Hello everybody and welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon 2. We are here within the station house in ready to go onto the next leg of our journey. But first of all, we are going to try and cure a bit of stress on some of our members here. Courtney specifically needs quite a lot of stress reduction. I think also we'll go with uh, Dismas here and Jane unfortunately can stay a little bit stressed. Uh, we'll also do a little bit of healing here as we have a lot of food. I don't think these people will be all too fond of the food that we've given them here, but it's better than nothing. We're going to have to give them quite a lot, but it's going to have to be what it is. There you go. We got people up to decent amounts of health here. We'll take the a look at our mastery, mastery skills. Okay, so I am noticing from the last episode this didn't actually save Urbus. I'll remember that for next time, but we'll uh, put into the skills again. Um, let's take a look what we want to go for here. Uh, so I think Dismas, we probably want to go for um, the Wicked Slice along with the Duelist Advance, 100% on there. Um, and then for, um, for Josiah here, Bello seems like it'd be really good. I think that's what we went for last time. And we can go with... We could go with Bolster. Um, oh, actually, Bolster's very good. That's going to be higher stress reduction, which is really nice. We'll go with Bolster as a higher method of stress reduction. And we've got one left. Um, we could go for a better heal here, um, which would be interesting. We could go with a pick to the face, which would be good. Um, I like the idea of this, of just buffing that... Uh, crit chance from 15 to 30%. Uh, pick to the face is also a good one as well, though. Um, let's just go with pick to the face. Stick with uh, a decent damage number. There you go. We've got those sorted. And then we didn't have anything Your within the way and right. Be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. We can, however, buy a little bit here. Um, and I think we're probably better off buying a few combat items here. So let's buy two Loudenum. The of violence. Despicable and dangerous. And we can buy some playing cards for the team as well. On the road to damnation. So let's give these guys the cards here. Hopefully this will be quite nice for these dudes. Good, good. Um, and then as well, we can take a look at our crew and see who could hold the um the the purchased Loudenum here, which would be quite nice. There you go. And, of course, as per usual for the series, for those of you that didn't know from the Darkest Dungeon 1 series, we had progressing characters where they'd write diary entries from week to week, and um, it would sort of create and support their stories. So, of course, we are doing that with this series as well. So, we're going to get into those now. We have a few diary entries here, some from the Grove, the Crossroads, the... Uh, Torch and Crown Inn, and some from the Station House Inn as well. So first of all, we have an overarching diary entry. I believe this was by, ah yes, this guy again. The world, a vast place of life, or it used to be anyways. Now filled with dread, full of tortured souls, forced to walk again. Bandits and outlaws doing what they can to survive another day in the wasteland. Some think it's their punishment from above and cleanse the world with fire. This is the world that we must face. Steady your weapon and keep your sanity because the mountain awaits and the madmen have already succumbed to it. Very, very good diary. They have an overarching one. I believe ISS guy again is going to be doing a few of these from time to time. Then we have um, the diary entry of our plague doctor, Courtney. This is by TEA. This is a journal recording the events that transpired on my journey. I am unsure of the final destination. I will attempt to separate from the others when we reach some place I can I, I recognize, or at least some place safe, as it would appear some calamity has struck. I was rendered unconscious and awoke at the crossroads, meeting some more well-armed folk, as, uh, some more well-armed fellows, as well as someone familiar. She provided me the bodies I needed to further my research, though I never bothered to remember her name. It's Jane. The others are unimportant. They will self well to guard me on our trip. And I can see the flames in the distance. And then when she had arrived at the... Um... Oh, sorry. No, this, this this is now Jane's for the Torch and Crown. So that was uh, Courtney's at the Torch and Crown, the first inn. And now this is Jane's at the first inn, our uh, Grave Doctor, written by me. It seems I was not the only one left astray along the crossroads. 
Three others stand there waiting next to a decrepit stagecoach left by the side of the road. As I approached, a highwayman, gun in hand, stood there reading a letter, looked as though he pulled it from the abandoned wagon. I asked what was in the letter, but he would not say. Although I didn't recognise any of them or know why we'd gathered together, we began to clean up the car and made our way further down the road. None of us really know, where, knowing where we were going or even why. We helped a few lost souls at the roadside on our way towards the inn and with some supplies uh, we found left at the stagecoach. I'm not sure why, but it gave me a feeling I hadn't had in a long time. Up. And then on to Josiah, our Man at Arms diary entry. This is from Friendly Shep. I hope to have better team in combat against this evil than a ragtag group of nobodies, but I suppose it'll have to do. I hope that even if we do, uh, do not ultimately succeed, that we can ease the suffering of those we meet along the way, as we already have. And then as we progress towards the sprawl, we have a few more diary entries. I will just mention, Dismas doesn't currently have diary entries uh, for this episode. Um, that's due in part to just the, the behaviours of his character. He's quite a shut-in person, quite shy, and his past has scarred him. Um, but also some issues with the uh, the writing as well. But either way, it, it fits his character that along this first gen leg of the journey, he is um, he's taken an absence of silence. Okay, so this first one here for the uh, the station house in the the inn that we're currently at is again for Courtney, our um, plague doctor. Finally, we've reached another inn, and it could not have appeared sooner. The flames I saw were of the burning city. The city of Amidus. I had heard it was under siege, but I did not know it had fallen so. By some miracle, we met survivors at the outskirts, and of course we offered assistance, the least we can do. However, it would turn out that the two well-armed men we were travelling with were quite cowardly, electing to steer clear of battle and instead try to help more people. And while I do not oppose to helping more of the unfortunate souls, it would help them more if we cleared the threats surrounding them um, and make sure they were extinguished. When we finally were forced upon an encounter, they had us flee, totally bypassing the enemy and leaving them further threatened, uh, to further threaten those left within the city. Thankfully though, it would appear my complaints were heard, as they finally agreed to battle. Fortunately I was there, or it is near certain that some of them would have perished. Jane was able to handle herself somewhat, and um, the more heavily armoured soldier. But the thief among us was brutalised. He should have died, but I suppose he was lucky. It was my medicines that saved their life, and with the destruction of the enemy, even more lives are saved. We'll be continuing our journey soon, as soon as I finish this wood carving. And I have a book as well to read on the road. Just wish the food is a bit better. The texture of this mould has made me gag more than the flavour. And then uh, Jane's diary at the station house. I can't believe we made it here. All of us alive to write what I am writing now. I was sure I was going to die, and if not me, the highwayman. He was on the brink of death with some of the horrors we face today. I did not know the true evil that lied within these lands, but now my eyes have been opened, and it's safe to say, I wish I were blind. As we made our way through the last inn to the uh, one start, uh, to, to this one, we started some light chit chat with my companions, and while I do not agree with the decisions made by some of them, I do at least respect their valour, especially that of the old soldier. He fights with purpose and a fire in his heart. The Plague Doctor does sound familiar, although she never takes taken off that darn mask, so I'm not really sure who she could be. Either way, she's earned my respect thus far. If not for her, I don't think we'd have made it this far. At first, I didn't really understand the nature of this expedition, but it's becoming clearer. Whatever was in that letter, it told a tale of a growing sickness within our world and a desperate need for a cure. While I do not yet believe it, I think we could be that cure. We just have to find the hope we need to carry on. And then Josiah, our man at arms, says, We almost lost Dismas on the first step of our long journey. I was worried about the dangers to come and who we might lose along the way. I don't want to lose anyone to these creatures again. My god, some really, really good writing there. Just absolutely fantastic. Um, I am just really looking forward to all of the writing that's come from this series so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Everyone that's taking part, it's just very well done. Very, very talented writers. And anyone that wants to get involved, please do let me know. Oh, I apologise. We actually do have a diary entry last minute coming in for Dismas within the station inn. Wasn't expecting one for this episode, but we actually got one. Uh, this is written by Strafe, of course. After settling down at the inn, Dismas decided to stretch his legs a bit and walk around the surrounding area as best he could, 
given that less than welcoming people he had met earlier in the day. He spent a good hour or so meandering around the grounds, making small talk with the other patrons of the inn. Everybody there seemed to be in good spirits, or at least as good as they could be in this desolate world. A few people even offered him a different kind of spirits, which were also quite good. Despite the welcoming nature of the place, Dismas couldn't shake the feeling he has been followed. He could catch an Im a glimpse of an inky black figure in the corner of his eye and see flickers of silhouettes dart around the corners. Dismas took another drink of the bottle he'd gotten from another group of travellers. He was probably just imagining things. Ooh, I like this. For any of you that know the, um, the previous uh, backstories of Dismas within the other series, they actually are working into this series and have some ties to it. So there's some interesting stuff starting to brew there. I also, in the in the pause there, I uh, went and bought re-bought the trinket we previously bought. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we'd actually bought a trinket here that adds plus four speed. We had the uh, baubles for it, so I thought it was pertinent for us to grab that uh, back Rain, again. fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Now, we have to decide if we want to go over to the Tangle or the Sprawl. Uh, the Sprawl, I believe, is where we went last time. It is going to give us a Mastery Point, which I believe is more valuable. We've, we've also got our secondary um, goals here, which is fight um, at no more than one resistance encounter. So we can only go to one. And fight no more than three road battles. That's going to be difficult. Um... Okay, and we have 100% chance for scouting uh, cultist encounters and 200% chance for cultist encounters. Intriguing. And this one we have minus 10% death blow resist. I think we'll take the tangle Trenches just because that's going to be a little easier for us. The and everyone's basically to ready to go. Everyone's basically ready to go. So let's uh, embark on our journey and hope, hope we have a better time than we did in our original here because that was definitely tough last time so here we are within the tangle i'm definitely ready for this very scary but this area is pretty Reward. amazing rewards only resignation okay so we can see we haven't actually got that much scouted but we can see a lot of resistance encounters here um fight no more than one we've actually got a hero shrine right off the bat i think we uh i think we take our chances at that um, we're going to have to try and dodge some of these resistance encounters here because there's quite a few of them. Might lead to some mischief along the way, but we'll see. Um, one moment. Okay, let's push forward. I think we'll probably take the hero shrine and make our way up these three question marks towards the cache. Of course, question marks could result in other resistance encounters and fail our reward, but it's the highest chance we have. Even though this is going to be a rocky road, we're going to get a lot of... Um, Mid battles. I mean, we, we could actually go to the hospital here. It might be a little more rewarding. Um, I suppose we can't. We we can't go to this resistance encounter either. This is gonna be kind of difficult to to work around. But we'll definitely go to the hero shrine first. They are uh, very very good. So we'll make our way over that way. Josiah is actually happy to see that as well. He wanted to make his way over there, so we'll definitely do that. Um, one thing actually I do need to check, we did actually unlock um, some additional skills in the previous episode. Did we ever equip those? I know that we did for, for you, but... we Okay, we, we did for both of you. So we'll probably go with, um, with Jane for the additional skill this time. I think uh, getting her backstory built up would be nice, and she does have some skills that we can pretty easily replace and not miss too much um i do know that when we unlock the hellion the hellion has some really interesting unlockable skills that we can go for so we'll definitely try and go for that but here's our first hero shrine shrine of reflection and jane tradition drove us into each other's arms or estates rather let's go grave robber chapter one luxury's lap Let's see what this is then, shall we? Let's find out more about Jane. Born into money and married into more, she spent her days on horseback and her evenings in the ballroom. She was the object of her husband's boorish lust and drunken temper, placating his worst tendencies with a veneer of gracious deference, all the while indulging murderous fantasies of freedom. And the fortune that would soon be hers. 
Indeed. She made quite the fortune from her husband, uh, Nevada's misdeeds. And we gain Dead of Night. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, requires target corpse. I like the idea of this, so if, I, if I'm seeing this correctly, we can go over to Jane here, go over to her skills. We can take off... Let's take off the poison dart. No, no we'll take off flashing dagger, I think. No, no, no. I'll take a poison dart. I'll take a poison dart. I'll take a poison dart. And we'll go with Dead of Night. Um, so we can heal up via corpses and gain... Um, I believe that's gaining stealth. Yes, that's really, really good. When deliberation is exhausted, that will prove useful. So we'll go to the question mark here. Uh, let, me just, let me just check on that and make sure that's where we can go. So with question mark, if we go here, we'll have to do two Destiny resistance encounters. Will not so yeah, let's denied. go question mark. Um, although... Everyone wants to go healing. I'm gonna go healing. Every single person wants to go healing. Stress reduction for the entire team is a little more valuable. Even if it does mean we're gonna get some roadside stuff. Even if we don't need particularly to see the doctor. I think this is gonna be useful. Our first battle. But yes, it seemed that um, everyone liked that. We get some dodge to start here. That's some horror already. Um, we can use Loudenum to sort of push that back a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with this to start. Just give us some resistances. This isn't too hard of a battle here. We shake it step. That's going to be some more stress, I believe. Oh no, we're okay. Uh, here's this Loudenum, so we'll give you that. Stress reduction and remove the horror as well. Sanity returns. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Courtney will be very, very happy about that. And we'll start off with a pick to the face. Good damage there. Very good damage indeed, actually. A chomp coming on Josiah. He takes, a, he's a bit stressed out by that, but Josiah can, uh, Josiah can, can deal. He's fine. Um, Bella, I, I just need to quickly check. What's uh, what's this crit? Oh, the fact that it removes crit is very good. Uh, we could lower speed here. I think I'm just going to go for the kill though, and I did get it. I think it's a little more valuable on a potential stress dealer. And that's a brilliant crit. Wow, Dismas, you are proving to be very valuable. You are outmatched. Indeed you are. Um... And then I'm think I think we're going to go for this. Another hit for nine. That's huge. This should be a very, very easy battle for us to conclude here. Songs of Shadow. We do have some stealth within this one and crit. Um, this should finish you off, I hope. Mm, unfortunately, no Blight. I was really hoping for Blight there. Ooh, and uh, that's, our, that's our first disease, actually. Um, unfortunately, Josiah here has contracted leprosy, which, um, as you can see pretty brutal but we are heading to a hospital so if we if we have the funds we can remove that although i have to admit i don't believe we will have the funds because i don't think selling things is as uh easy in this game but we might have to if we can we'll maybe sell some trinkets but minus four speed and um getting round start chance to be blinded is a little egregious and i do believe uh, in this game, you can have your um, your curses stack. Your curses, sorry, your diseases stack, which is problematic. I'm gonna hold the line here just to pull you forward so Dismas can strike. <clears throat> oh, that's a that's a big crit and a lot of stress. Intriguing. Okay, um, that's a death blow. I did not want a death blow there. That was an unintentional, but. The Wayne Rider there you Eager to ply his trade. Intriguing. So we're gonna have to see about curing up that leprosy when we get to the next uh, the next medical tent here. I, I I think it's gonna end up being too expensive for us at this current moment in time. Josiah's gonna be in a rather bad spot, but this um this slime mold is uh is taking its toll, definitely. We did actually have the ability to put on some trinkets there. Ten bleed resist, why not? You can have that. Okay, here's the medical tent here. Okay, Courtney's definitely in need of some stress reduction here. Field hospital. Yeah, unfortunately, we just don't have enough. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think you can sell things either. 
It doesn't look like you can. Okay. Oh, this is... This is a shame. I think I think instead we're just going to have to heal up Courtney. That is a shame. We're going to have to deal with that leprosy here. But let's, uh, let's carry on. <clears throat> so we probably want to go to this unknown here to the left. I don't know what people are going to be. Choice. Okay, two people are actually up for At the unknowns. I like that. <clears throat> but this is going to be kind of scary. Jane and Courtney feeling a little stressed out. Courtney especially. Wow. We come across another encounter here. And this is a brigand encounter. Could be dangerous. Ooh. We got a shuffle on, on starting combat there. That is unexpected. That That's really inconvenient, actually. We can reshuffle a little bit. But I actually think that we just... Start off with that. Ounce of prevention there. De-stresses these guys a little bit. And a bit of friendship between him and Jane. Uh, Hare and Jane, sorry. These two, of course, knowing each other in the past, it's going to help with their uh, ease to build a relationship, as opposed to the others. Courtney, of course, not the friendliest of people, as it is anyways, but hopefully she can befriend Jane. Especially if Jane saves her life on occasion. That loud and usage earlier was, was enough to start the relationship, I think. We're in a little bit of a bad spot here. Um, I think we just go for a hit to the face here. This is going to be tricky. There you go. We'll cure you up. This wound at least has... We're going to carry on with the, uh, the Duelist Advance here. I think it's one of the best skills. It wasn't the first game. It continues to be in this game. Unfortunately, they are very, very interested in Josiah here. I suppose that armor would surely be worth a pretty penny to these brigands. Killing it and taking it off his corpse is probably priority number one for these fellas. A shame for Josiah, but the armor should withhold. Finish you off. <clears throat> Crush is going to be a uh, good thing for that. And we're going to have to continue to heal here. You get a good amount of healing and a bleed cure there, though. That's nice. Um, we'll go to another pick to the face here. Beautiful hit there by Jane. And we advance again to finish another. The work continues. No oh, that was a very, very heavy hit. And a stun on top of that. That's... Steady yourself. Oh, my lord. These two have... Oh, God. Causing some serious issues right now. Serious issues. I'm going to go with Bellow just to debuff. You need to go. That pistol shot was, was brutal. You need another heal again. I think Courtney's going to be a favourite of the group. Not quite the hit we were looking for there. Low blow for some bleed, unfortunately. At least uh, Courtney can deal with that. There comes the blistering shot again. Josiah takes it on the chin. He's actually done a very good job of uh, making sure he's not taking too much out of this. There's a death's blow there. Gonna go. I, should, I shouldn't use the loud them, to be fair. We can rely oh, well. only upon each other. And there you go, we finish off these guys. Not leaving them behind for anyone else. <clears throat> exactly, not bad. In crisis, no gain hey, we take some smoke bombs for that. I think that could be significantly useful to a few of our members here. So let's uh, take a little look at that. I do believe you're out of Loudonum, so you can take the smoke bombs here. There you go. <clears throat> and Josiah, you can take... <clears throat> extra strength and speed, why not? That'll work quite nicely for you. And we'll push forward. We're moving towards an academic study, which could be rather nice for us. It would be nice to get some um, resistance encounters, though, here. Assi that's it, sorry. Assi assistance encounters. Just because we're in a <clears throat> situation where we really need some light. Our light is getting low. 
and um, assistance encounters are really the best way to gain additional light. So it might be <clears throat> pertinent to us to uh, head over that way. The academic study. Let's kick our feet up, cozy by the fire. Smells like <clears throat> must and cockroaches and Courtney. There's likely to be one or two terms I have yet to peer inside. This is interesting because with this, um, we would... We'd lose flame, we get trinket, mixed quirks, and mixed stress. <clears throat> I honestly think, as much as Courtney is is correct, Dismas makes a better point. <laughs> I'm sorry, Courtney. Right, let's take a look at our map here. So, <clears throat> first of all, what does the team want? Be good to know. Resistance encounter. It would stop us going to the assistance. I'm gonna go for the uh <clears throat> gonna go for the assist oh it is an assistance encounter as well. Very Let useful us for us. This world's cruelty. We Just definitely need that little. torch. Once you get below 40, things really start to become dangerous. As you can see. Anyways again, speed, crit. Uh, I don't know what the 33% chance was as well. We've all, we also need to look at this. This is something I've not really been um, taking notice of. Oh, this is an interesting enemy. But we do have um, enemies having different buffs and minuses to them. At the minute, it's a definite negative. Um, <clears throat> okay, so here we've actually been targeted, like taunted to fight this one enemy. We do have the ability to pierce right through that block. So we'll definitely do that. Comfort Go down to company. prevention to start here. This is a round based combat as well, so we should be okay here. The cuts are gonna hurt, but I believe we we have the resources to uh, to withstand. I think we just try and take you out as much as I know you have the lock. <clears throat> it's worth trying to take you out. And I really do think that in this situation, Bello is a fantastic use of our time here. Minus five speed on all of those guys. <clears throat> That's huge for us. Looks like we're going to need some healing here. Yeah, let's go for that healing. We definitely need that. Unfortunately, Josiah is just taking the brunt of the damage here. There's that crit for Death's Door, but unfortunately, he does get left on death's door. The hammer man, hammer man, sorry, drum guy does need to go. There's that death's blow. Drum guy does need to go, but it's not always that easy. I think we'll uh, hold the line here. Okay, another hit coming in. Ooh, Steady that's yourself. a big hit. Wow. Okay. Jane, you okay? I might be accidentally calling Jane Nina from time to time, by the way. That's just because our last graver was called Nina. I'll get used to it, but I feel like I've already done it at least once this episode. Okay, sorry. I, I had to do a big pause there. I apologize. I am back. Let's continue with this fight. Get another pick to the face going on. <clears throat> and honestly, let's just keep it going with this. I really want to make sure we take out these enemies one by one here. Um, and this is the best way to do it. We do need a little bit of healing kind of across the board here. Uh, maybe blinding gas would be quite good here, actually. Yeah, that's that's nice. Oh, another miss. Nice. Yes, blinding gas is working out fantastically for us. Um, I think we just got to go with Crush. We're not doing too much damage because of that uh, protection they've got there. But I think the defense... We, you need to rip it off anyways. It's just kind of like one of those things. We could also try and use the body here to heal up a little bit. I want to see how that works. We might... I didn't actually check the position we've got to be in for that to work, so... Oh, wait. I don't know if it'll work because we've got taunt. Yeah, we can't do it because that's annoying. We can't absinthe either. God damn it. You, you made that so horrible. We could have taken that corpse there, but of course we had to fight you. And you resisted the death blow as well. You're a cheeky fella. A cheeky fella. Now you're taunted as well. God, the stress is building up too. There you go. We can at least heal you up a little bit. It's not much, but it's enough. 
This guy's going to do half damage because, of course, he is weakened there, but there you go. Come on. Oh, really? Another Death Blow resist? This is brutal. And now the bloody corpse has gone too. And he's got block. Oh, this is frustrating. Just die already. Oh, a crit heal as well. That's, that's awesome. There you go. There's the death's blow. It's not going to matter anyway. So there's no way we can kill these guys in this last round. But at least we got a nice dodge there. Didn't lose any unnecessary health. Marching orders is going to give that guy big old move resist. We might be able to kill this dude down, but I doubt we'll finish off the other guy. Get him to death's door at least. What, what sort of death's blow resist do these guys have? It's high. Whatever it is, it's very high. My lord. Right, push forward to this assistance encounter. Hopefully get some torch light, because as I said, the enemies are rough at the minute. The desperate few. Whatever we need to do, we need to give them whatever we can to get as much light as possible. We only have two options here. I think Dismas can trade out a few of our relics to help them out. The Wayne Rider waits. Oh, Eager good. Nice. We got Burn trade. Salve. We got some more smoke bombs. We can actually... um give the smoke bombs to you, I think. A few more smoke bombs there. I like the idea of that. Clear Corpse is also nice, but we'll, we'll stick with that for An now. Elementary problem. <sighs> okay. This is kind of a, a thingy one, because these two want to go for the cash, the but these two want to go for the um, assistance encounter. I'm going to go with assistance because I want it to go that way anyways, but also it's had too high a stress people. I know that Jane's a little overstressed now, but unfortunately no Jane's going to have to deal with it. Decent folk. <clears throat> Jane is going to have to deal with it. Ooh, this is an interesting enemy here. God, that's so annoying, shuffling us around like that. It's a really annoying shuffle too. Damn it. Uh, absolute waste of a turn here, but has to be done. We can't have these guys completely out of order. And unfortunately, forcing us to attack this guy again. It's very annoying when that happens, but just how it goes. Dismas taking some more damage again there, but he does have repose now. Ooh, Penance. Enables the use of several powerful skills. That sounds scary. I think we go with a Bellow here and try and lower those speeds. It worked. Got lower speed across the world. Ooh. Okay, Dismas is getting low. We don't have any other healing, really. Apart from Courtney. But Courtney, it will build the relationship if she heals. So that would be nice. Slightly annoying how difficult it is at the minute to actually hurt enemies, though. But yeah, we are going to have to go for a heal here on Dismas. He needs it. And there you go. As I said, it does build their relationship up, which is really nice for us. These guys need to need to get well acquainted with each other if they're going to be fighting in battle. We got vulnerable for that. Part of our bloodthirsty, I believe. Um, yeah. Okay. Intriguing. <clears throat> we go for a hit on you. Sadly, no death star. I need to check these guys' death blow resists as well. Um, yeah, 50%. That is why it took so long to kill that guy last time. That's a very high death blow. I don't know what these powerful skills are going to do, but I'm not liking the idea of extra stress there. We're getting some good dodges, though. I'll say that. Putting that guy into death's door definitely sets us up. Again, I think this is going to be another battle that we... Um, another battle that we can't finish in time, but we'll try our damnedest. Dismas, you need this more at the minute, because you can heal. The thing is, um, Jane can heal herself, so we've got to remember that. There's a death blow coming in there nicely. Enough. Repost set up as well. We'll hold the line here. I'm up front with that. Setting up that block's always going to be nice. The marching order here is going to be kind of hectic. Ooh, is he respawning? Oh, no, he is. Oh, no. I did not know that enemy could do that. That This guy would have been more of a priority if I'd have realized. 
Oh, Lord. Th this drummer dude's an absolute pain, but we have very little range in our um, in our current setup apart from the thrown dagger, so it just doesn't really work. It's, it's this taunt thing. This taunt thing's brutal. We're not really able to do anything. We're going to have to use ounces prevention here because Jane needs, needs some stress reduction. Oh, the death blow resists are just brutal. Takes forever to kill anything. It increases our stress ever more. Let's do that, shall we? Falls to you for a minus two to your stress. God, this is this is tricky. Wow, another death blow resist. This is absurd. It's so difficult to take anything down within this area. We are on round five now, the final round. As I said, we're not finishing this combat. We're going to have to escape with our lives, but rather escape with our lives than not. Just so difficult to actually take an enemy down in this game. Surprisingly so. But that's the way it's got to be. Okay. It's a bit more stress there. There's a death blow, finally. my lord just he just brings him straight back oh this guy this if we come across this enemy again we're gonna have to prioritize because that was that was rough but at least now we know it's better to know than to not okay let's carry on towards this assistance encounter god this is gonna be a little rough i think 20% enemy battle advantage chance. I'm not exactly sure what battle advantage chance means. I'm guessing that just means they get to go first. If I was to guess. We want to get our light up to around 70 or 80. So if we can take plus 30 to our light, I very much would like to. Unfortunately, we can't. But Jane has the best idea here. Um... Drunk card, my cold black heart. We're going to have to take that. I know you two aren't a fan. Find. But we need the light. We require it. Consider all variables, but do it quickly. Okay. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one. Where do we want to go ahead with this Onward, one? While there is still time. I think we we have to go here, don't we? Straight up the middle. Of course, our, our team has no preference whatsoever. Chaos must but we'll be end up coming across another road battle resolve. here. Pretty early, I'd assume. Yeah, there you go. Oh, these two relationship is thinning. At least we're at 50 light entering the battle. That is important. It's another few brigands. We should try and take out the back line first if we can. Um, although, let's start off with some stress healing because it's pretty high at the minute. Yeah, let's try and take out some of the back line first. Even, even with just three damage, it's, it's better than nothing. Vulnerable again. That's... Look, that bloodthirsty is really proving to be quite a pain. For a positive quirk, it's not so positive. These enemies as well have plus 33% maximum HP, which is pretty bad for us. It's going to prove to be problematic. Oh, God, our stress is... This game's so stressful. I actually love it, though. There's so much tension in this game now. I'm going to go with Bello first. I think the minusing speed is important. Clear that bleed off of you as well. And yeah, that 33% extra health is going to mean that we're uh, probably not going to be able to kill anyone here. But we'll try our best. We haven't got any healing within this team, so that's good. And the repose there. Okay, this guy's going down for sure. These two backliners, though, I imagine that, yeah, they're going to cause some problems. Stress is... Among the largest of those problems. We do have combo on us as well now. My lord. <clears throat> and a crit too. Everyone's so stressed. Bolster here for a double reduction of stress here between the two of these guys. Finish you off with a death blow. Right crit for 18 action. of course. And we'll hold the line here as well. I like Hold the Line a lot. We actually got a, a block plus there as well. I'm not sure why we got that, but I'm very happy to have it. I wonder if they combine to one turn, Steady if they have turn each. Whoa! 
Crit for 15. That hurt. And then these guys get shell shocked as well. Oh my lord. The the stress within this area is absurd. Oh, that's that's huge. That's huge. Oh, an ounce of prevention isn't even ready. Yeah, Courtney doing a good job at keeping people on their feet, but it's a little difficult. That's a good death blow, though. One that right there is a good death blow. In our path. And there you go. Ounce of prevention coming our way. Everyone needed that. Relationships are taking a lot longer to grow than they did on the previous patch that I played, but it's definitely a good thing. They were very powerful. When you get to the full level of relationships between your characters, it has some very, very good benefits. So it's nice to see that it takes a little more time to work out a relationship. Especially as these guys are pretty much foreigners to each other. Another bolster coming in here. Oh, I think bolster is what's giving us the block plus, actually. I wasn't I wasn't aware of that to start with. Heal yourself up there, Courtney. There you go. Another death blow. We Another might actually be able to take this out. I don't know. Maybe. Unlikely, but there's a chance. I don't know who else has a turn. Oh come on! I think we're I think we're one hit away from this. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a real shame, but there you go. Unfortunate. Let's push onwards. We do have an actual resistance encounter coming up here. We're mostly ready. We're all a little bit stressed out, which is not great. And we're going to be heading in with uh, quite a lot of stress. Once. Head now to the Forgotten Outpost. Nothing at all. Okay, let's have a little look-see here. How... Um, I don't know what this means here. I'm guessing that's positive. Wait. Do they do they start with plus one vulnerability? Okay, so I guess we try this. I think Jane's going to be right here. Push forward. Do they start with plus one vulnerability or do we? I really hope they do and not us. Okay. Wait, no. None of them did? Plus 33% death blow resist. Oh, that's going to be brutal. First of all, let's blind you. I think smoke bombs here are uh, going to be pretty nice. And these guys already have high death blow resist, if you remember correctly, so... Oh no, these guys only have 33. Maybe they were getting buffed by the drummer guy. Maybe that was the cause. Go with an ounce of prevention here. Buffing our resist and healing a little bit of stress here and there is going to be nice. Okay, getting rid of that block's good. This guy can be a pain. That's why I've given him the, the, the blind... He could be a problem otherwise. I think we go with Bella as well. Just lower their speed. The, the speed lowering is, is so valuable. Three whole turns of minus five speed is huge. And there's the miss already. Blind proving to be very useful. And there's a hit coming out. We should be able to finish this guy off very shortly here. But they are going to have that 33% death blow resist that's going to mean... Things are a little trickier than they maybe should be. At least Courtney's here to fill up the back line. Thaw things out. And then that plus death blow resist from Dismas. He knows where to strike. He knows just where to cut. That dark, inky figure in the back of his mind. Hopefully helping him stay sharp and focused. And not distracting as it maybe could. Blind again. Just keep this thing blinded. Ah, he did resist it, unfortunately. That's a big cut on you. Good. Getting right through that block there is fantastic. And probably one more good hit will take you out. Probably not from you, though. Um, Bolster's not really going to cut it. Nah, we'll try it. Oh, you put him to death's door, at least. Put him to death's door. And here's that serrated bolt. This is what I was worried about. Okay. We're at least going to be able to heal you up from Courtney. I think. Yes, good. It's good when you can get rid of the bleed and heal in one turn. Okay, this should kill you. Nice. The death blow there. Impressed. Hey, there you go. Desire and Dismas getting on very nicely. 
Um, I'll try and take you out. It's going to be a little difficult. Oh, there you go. Death's blows well. That went swimmingly. Yeah, we plus one mastery no token here. Ooh, and we got some healing salves as well. We have been waiting to get those for a while. The last um, the last the inn didn't actually house. have any, so that's really nice. We'll put that on you. I think you can go with the healing salves. Why not? Very valuable for us. We needed that. We needed that desperately. Right, let's head towards this, and it is indeed a healing center. We might be able to get rid of Josiah's leprosy, which would be very, very nice, because that is going to be quite bothersome. It already has been, to be fair. Wisely. Getting that as a random pull is, uh, is very rewarding for us here. Very rewarding indeed. Okay, where is it? Here it is. Hello. Joints ache and muscles burn. The body requires attention. Let's get rid of that leprosy. Okay, it's gone. We can't do much else while we're here. Possible we could buy ourselves some trinkets, but there honestly isn't anything that I'd really want to buy, so. We will heal our leprosy and be on our way. Okay, so we can go to a cultist encounter. We can go to an unknown. We must or resistance. We'll moving. go to the unknown because um, that's what that's what Courtney wants. Jane, quite a bit stressed here at six. What is it you want, Courtney? Oh, you should have some combat stuff you want to tell me about. Okay, that's fine. We are gonna have some uh, some roadblocks along the way. Oh no, Jane is really. Cause for concern here. Also, our torch level is uh, is very much cause for concern itself. Which leave me by the roadside. No. Courtney, it's okay. Relationships are thinning at the minute. Irritable isn't the best thing to be on an expedition like this. These guys have plus four speed. Okay. Excellent That's a great crit to start off. Almost killed him. We did take vulnerability, unfortunately, though, there. That's okay. One chump isn't so bad. The piercing bolt, however, problematic. There is comfort in company. There you go. Blow that stress just a little bit for these guys. We finish you off with a death's blow. This shouldn't be all too bad. It's just the guy in the back that uh, that really scares me right now. I think we go with Bello just to remove that speed buff that they're gaining there. One guy did resist, unfortunately. Their blight resist is relatively high, so I think we just go with some blinding gas. And that did indeed pay forward. Okay, we can try and go in with a cut here. We, we haven't really been using take aim all that much. That's something that we could use. Um, but I've really been liking sort of the up close and personal dismiss, to be honest. We've gained not more vulnerability here, which is real, real pain. Oh, there you go. Straight onto death's door. Was not expecting that, but very welcome. And that's a de-stress as well. But the piercing bolt brings that stress straight back in. Straight back in. And there's the death blow on you. Good, good. That one should have been mine. No. Nina's stress is really causing some relationship issues in the group. Nina. God damn, I keep calling her Nina. I'm sorry. Jane. I'm so used to it from the previous series. Um, but yeah, Jane's uh, stress issues are really, really causing quite a lot of issues. We'll go with one of these here. Emboldening Vapors. Oh, No. You see? Just the stress levels. Oh my lord. That was an absurdly high damage shot. And we can't even hit the enemy. We're going to take aim. Please, no. Jane. You'll be okay. I know you're at 8 stress, but you'll be okay. First of all. Let's do that. 
Then let's uh, let's do that. There is comfort in company. Okay. We're sorting you out a little bit there, Jane. Come on. And then Jane can also do this. Okay. We've we've recovered there quite quite quickly. Oh my god. Death blow on a 24 hit from full HP. You'll love to see it, don't you? You'll love to see it. Empowered. Emboldened. Ooh, okay. We managed to bring her back to a, a semblance state of mind. A little bit tough, but we did it. My lord. Right. No death's blow this time. We at least got him down to death's door. And there you go. A splash of poison from Courtney takes him out. In this world, wealth is worth oh, my lord. without purpose. This has been so stressful. Let's push forward in this just very stressful journey. Um, fight no more than... We've only done one so far, so we're doing good on that. Need to open our map up here. Uh, close that. So what we at now? We're at a lair. Oh, damn. Uh, do we want to take on a lair? Ooh. This could be risky. This is a den of absolute evil and wretchedness. Prepare yourself. So, a lair is basically an advancing level of enemies with waves, and you can clear the waves to get harder and harder until you fight a boss. I am tempted to go ahead with this, but it is risky. It's very risky. Enemies do have plus four speed within here as well. Oof, that's a hard hit to start this fight, could you not? Ooh, could you not? <laughs> Could you, uh, could you not? That's healing salvo. The fact that we don't have many healing salves left definitely makes me not want to go ahead with this. Okay, that's gonna help. That's also rather helpful. Try and take this guy out straight away. This guy doesn't have death blow resist, so that's nice. Oh my lord. We're taking some hard hits here. It's these dudes, they're just so strong. Some of the enemies in this area, uh, the Tangle is it, are just very, very strong in general. Take a hit on you. You've got two block as well, so we're gonna have to deal with that. A little help Heal up there for Josiah. Hopefully that'll build their relationship soon, but it's not doing so well so far. That's a nice 15 crit right there, holy hell. Oh, and that's a crit returned. Wow, Josiah's been crit multiple times now. There's the death's blow. Resist coming in. Oh my god. Nice dodge though. This is getting dangerous. Very dangerous. That's a dodge. The repost is so nice, but it's not really gonna not really gonna cut it in the end if we don't take out some of these enemies. There you go. We're gonna have to heal you up rather than stress healing you. I realize you're at seven stress, but you can deal with your own stress somewhat, so. God. Bolster there. At least we get some block plus for that as well. But that doesn't matter when it keeps... They keep aiming at my weakest characters and doing insane damage to them. My lord. It's so frustrating. That's so much damage. If Courtney dies, we're going to be in a really, really rough spot. A really, really rough spot. Not much we can do to help Courtney at the minute as well. She can only really help herself. Resist that bleed. That's good. Okay, healing salve. We're going to have to. We're going to have to go for a crush there as well. And there's some more healing coming in. This puts us all in a bad spot. But the repost here. Oh, yes. Not a kill, but death's door. Weakening this guy is going to be nice, and the death blow to follow up. Dismas is just killing it. And the relationship builds. Courtney has taken a liking to some of these people. Nice heal plus stealth here. Just stealth to get people off our back is really nice. There you go. A little bit of stress heal across the board there. Serrated bolt. No bleed for us at least. That's good. This guy is going to be rather rather large pain for us. The question is, after this 
relatively savage beating. Do we really want to move on to the second stage of this? Everyone's at kind of low HP. I think, I think I'm going to advance. It's risky. It's risky, but I'm going to advance. Okay, we did get some healing off of the back of that. That's nice. I think we take out the backline guy first because he can revive. Preparing to use a powerful skill. That's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've been taunted too. Wait, can we not target the backline dude? Okay, we can. He's just got a hell of a lot of health. Oh, no. This is going to be so bad. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm really scared. You all need lowered speed. This guy's oh, so tanky for what he is too. So tanky. Oh my lord. Oh, that hurts. The slow oh. suffering begins. We don't have way to... This is, I think this is the end of us. I think I've made a terrible mistake here. I think the group has, uh, has bitten off a little more than they could chew. Blind you. Bitten off just a bit more than they can chew. The, the Not really having the range damage to deal with this is just very problematic. I'm going to try and defend you. The marching orders of this drum guy as well are problematic to say the least. You do have relatively healthy blight resist too. I think we go for the blinding gas here. I know that these guys are bleeding, but it's all we can do, really. Pistol shot. Maybe we should have upgraded the pistol shot. That would have been good. Oh, thank God you missed. Thank God you missed. Same for you as well. Keeping up these debuffs is important. It's annoying because this guy himself isn't actually that much of a threat. It's just the fact that he can revive that really puts us in a bad spot. The target is bad there as well. Bellow once again. They, they all resisted that, unfortunately. They all resisted that. A, okay, this guy's going down next turn. I don't know what his death blow is like, but... There we go. Okay. That at least puts us in a better spot. Oh, no. The negative relationship builds. Okay. Get rid of some of that bleed. Oh, my God. Oh, this is... This is very scary. This is very scary. You've got to go, sir. You've got to go. The taunt. The taunt is brutal. Absolutely brutal. A little help impeccably timed. Really wish I'd upgraded Flashing Blade now. Us not having range damage is killing us. Dismas goes down to just one HP. Sets up the repost at least, but that isn't going to do much. Slay the wounded, no. Oh, what? He gets two turns? What the, the heck? You need to go, sir. You got to go. There we go. I don't know how, if we're going to be able to survive this, but we got to... Oh, no. I, I, I've got to the limited of uses of this. Fuck me. We don't even have any healing for this fight. Emboldened. This guy's going to do a double strike on these two Death Star them both, isn't he? He is. Oh, no. And we took on a bleed, too. Hell of a blow. And that's a lot of stress as well. Mistakes were made, people. Mistakes were made. My oh, death blow resist. Thank God. That's all we can do. Our biggest damage dealers don't have as much damage as they used to as well. Oh, we survived the bleed. We just gotta keep going. An interminable conflict. We just got to keep fighting through and hope for the best here. We really do. That's good. Please don't let him take another turn. Yes. 
We escape from that with our lives, and of course we escape. On death's door, extra action. Now, that'd be great, but I don't actually know how fighting the boss works. If it heals us to full and de-stresses us a little bit, that would be nice, but I doubt it does, so I'm going to get out of there with our lives. In this world, wealth is worth oh, this come out of it with purpose. some laudanum at least, but that, that scares me to the very core, that does. Scares me to the very core. This has been... So, so scary. Right, uh... You can take some combat items. All that laudanum for you there. My life. Wait, does anyone else have any, uh... Spaces left? Probably go with bandages instead there. Okay. Let's keep pushing forward. We do have a hoarder here for bartering. Which is rather nice. We are. Pr we don't have any battles on the way to him, I don't think, either. Our light is dangerously low, though. Plus six crit. I don't know how, like, to manage light, I have to admit. I'm very bad at managing torch light. Because it seems like the only way to get it back is going through resistance encounters. But you don't really... Uh, assistance encounters, sorry. But you don't really get enough of those. Sometimes. Why does nowhere ever sell healing selves? <laughs> Um, I think we'll buy one of them. Seems good. Buy one of them. And one of them. Okay, we'll leave it there. Oh my god. That hard is pretty useful, but... I don't know. Um... I kind of think Courtney should be the one starting with that, so let's give you that. And Dismas, you can have that. Okay. My god, 12 light remaining, and we've still got a cultist encounter and a guardian encounter to go, with no way of gaining light. The stress levels are absurdly high right now, with no real way of curing them. Health is low. This is... This is bad. Relationships are thinning. Rapidly thinning. It's going to be very difficult to, to come back from this. The lost souls of a dying world. Empty of hope and humanity. Yes, we did actually get that block plus there to start there combat. Very nice. Company. Can at least de-stress like that. Sadly, not a high damage pick to the face there. But we kind of need it. Walking step. As oh, a blight coming in as well. And there comes that. Oh, my lord. Right. Louden and myself here. And on top of that, we're going to go with a bolster. Lower stress even more. Okay. Relationships have been very difficult to manage thus far. Stress has been staying much, much higher. Let us hope to the normal, but that's that's a good start here. Stun there is definitely a problem. Songs of the Shadows hurts us quite a lot for the next turn that he gets. More loud in them. We're going to have to just go for hits here, I think. Zaya get that big miss. Smacking into her face. And there's the Death's Blow as well. Beautiful. We definitely need to increase our ranged combat with this group on the next turn because we are really struggling with that. Light's kind of painful, but we get another death blow here. Unfortunately, again, relationships are being tested. Just take out one of these bodies to pull you a little closer. He is going to get a crit on his next turn, though, which worries me. At least a cure for the blight. From caustic agony. We pull you even closer. This crit's going to hurt. Yep. And of course he goes for the weakest person in our party. There you go. We've actually managed to de-stress pretty successfully here. 
but still leaves a lot to be desired within this team. There you go, we took you out. Suffering strengthens the bond. Oh my lord. It is Not much reward now. for that. But life is all the reward we need. Push forward. Dismiss's health has really got me worried for this next battle. We might be able to skip over this one, and if even if it ruins relationships, I think we have to. We lose light, but we have to. We can't fight. We're not ready. Our light is at dangerously low levels now. Um, in fact, it's completely out. It is completely out. 30% chance of affinity changes. God, this is bad. This is what Darkest Dungeon is all about, though. A ragtag group fighting through the worst of the worst, hoping for the best. Friends, the enemies. Oh, what the hell's happening here? I've not had this before. This must be a zero light mechanic. This must be a zero light mechanic. Because this was not on the map at all. This could end up being the end of us. These enemies are relatively difficult here. Nice hit on you already. Crit on next attack. Oh, that's going to be so brutal. These enemies are wicked cool, though. <laughs> they look so good. Oh, unfortunate dodge there. This dodging business is going to be really painful. Bellow should remove that crit from you. It did indeed. Unfortunately, it only affected you, but... That's nothing. Ugh, repose and vulnerable. That vulnerable bloodthirsty is screwing us. We're getting it so often. At least that was a weak attack. Sightless Miasma. Blinds us. Heal you up a little bit. Stress still growing ever stronger. That animation's awesome. <sighs> My lord. A miscalculation, perhaps. Another pick, pick, but they just keep dodging. Okay, this guy's on death's door now. That's good. This isn't a round-based combat either. This is until these guys are dead. Okay. Got 20 debuff resist. Let's let's try it. Let's try the blinding gas. Unfortunately, at 20 debuff resist, they both resisted it. Unfortunate. Kind of a waste of a turn there. It is what it is. The slow suffering some horror. begins. A nice crit once again though. This is this is very impactful right now. This crit's gonna hurt. Yeah. I knew that was gonna be big. But this should kill you. Ah. Oh. The Death's Blur. Or a crit of 18 as well. I really think it'd be quite nice if um, if crits had a higher chance to uh, to bypass Death's Blur. Or even just um, bypass it entirely if it was like below 50. It'd be quite nice. Just just to give meaningful reason to try and crit enemies that are at low HP. Slow suffering but I suppose begins. that skill that lets you force a crit would then become quite strong. Bolster puts his birth below five. I hope there are some skills later that you, that let you heal stress when below when even when below five, because that is quite a difficult balance to strike. I will admit. Cut you right in the neck. A little help. Let's do that. Timed. I'm gonna try and destroy one of these bodies just to get it out of the way. Unfortunately. Gave us bloodthirsty again. My god, that's so frustrating. As a positive quirk, it's not very positive. I'll say that for sure. Taking some blindness there as well. That's not good. In Get that going. We can rely only upon each good. Other. The relationships rebuild. These guys have plus 25% damage within this battle too, which is obviously horrible. We at least take away that dodge plus there. I'm gonna hold the line here so we can set up some more repose, I think. They seem to be targeting Dismas pretty often, so seems worthwhile. Another miss there, but that's because of our blind. That's fine. We were prepared for that. As long as these enemies can't summon any others, we'll be relatively okay here. 
There's the hit. And we should be able to finish off with a repursed hit any minute now. That blight's going to be good, actually. We should be able to finish you off with that. And then go on you. Okay, this this should be this should be decent. Should be able to finish you guys off pretty easily now. An interminable conflict. Yes, that's you dead. Beautiful. And there you go. A rather difficult bit of combat, but we came out of that looking good and interesting. It gave us plus 40 light. So if you get to zero light, you have the chance to redeem yourself. I like that. We also got the dark impulse too, which is something I have not seen before myself. So let's uh, let's take a little look at that, shall we? The loathing festers. Got some dark impulse there. Unlocks the potential of cultist trinkets. I'm, I'm guessing that's only when fighting cultists, but still. Living Rampart once again. This time, I don't think we can skip this fight. Indeed, we cannot. And this is a few stages of fighting, too. It's going to be difficult. Um, I think we go for a heal off the bat here, actually. Rather get our healing uh, up there first. Unfortunately, Pick to the Face is doing very little damage at the minute. We're getting unlucky with that. I don't mind when Duelist Advance does less damage, because we get dodge and repost out of it. Definitely do that. All of them took that speed downgrade there as well. It's fantastic for the next few turns. And there's the repose to finish this guy off. Yes, a, a death blow as well. Cut's gonna hurt. Piercing Bolt still is one of the most annoying attacks. We'll go for another heal here. We'll just try and get rid of some of these blocks. They do have two each, so a little bit difficult. Oh, ho, ho. Jane is coming in big with these crits. Okay. Ah, I really need to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to upgrade that. Or is that skill already upgraded? I don't know. Either way. It would be nice if we could get more death blow hits. Because they are resisting very highly. Steady your Ow. Self. That's a big crit on us there. And in comes another piercing bolt. But we dodge it this time. Thank God. Another heal. Last one off the battle. I think we only get three uses of that. I need to pay attention to our uses, actually. I've not been doing so. There's the death blow on you. We'll take out your armor. We'll take aim here. We'll try to take out a corpse in the next turn. I'm going to try and get a guaranteed kill here if I can. It's kind of an awkward setup here, but I'm going to try it. So, my idea is we, we hold the line here, pushes forward. That's a good crit on you. Wasn't expecting that, but it's very welcome. Um, you're not going to be able to heal anymore, so we go with a Vapors on you to increase your damage by 50%. We finish you off, or at least near two, with that attack. And then we come in, and not a one-shot, unfortunately, but very close to That was, that was good at least. That was good. Oh, please don't bleed. Oh, no. Okay, okay. We don't have Battlefield Medic enabled here at the minute, so that's problematic. Answer prevention seems decent here. Cooperation is the key. I was only one. Ah, oh, I thought Dismas was stressed out as well. There's the death door. We're hoping not to see it, but unfortunately there it is. We do get a death blow at least. Obstacle in our path. Not bad. We do have a few waves of combat here, unfortunately. Uh, we can escape, actually. I think we should escape. I'd, I'd rather not, but our team is not in a good way right now, and I do think that um, Josiah could end up falling. And here is the inn. We have made it. That was rather stressful. I do remember I won't be doing any of the inn actions until the next episode, because it reset them anyways. So at the start of the next episode, we'll take a look over our skills and see what we want to buy and... How we want to de-stress, things like that. But people are getting a lot of stress on these journeys here. It's not done well for them. 
The torchlight has been our main issue, really. I need to focus on that a lot more. Either way, here we are within the inn, finally. That was a long leg of the journey, and definitely, most definitely, a difficult one. Either way, I hope you, you all here enjoyed that. Oh, we got a lot of quirks gone. here. To write, think, and rest. Let's take a look at the quirks we received. Nice one. Okay, so we got lightning reflexes, extra speeds, rather nice there. We got klepto, liking to steal. We got miss the mark, unfortunately, chance to blind on, on turn start. Lazy, not motivated to do all that much. Okay, not great, but not terrible. Anyways, we'll leave the episode here and we'll develop um, as we go forward. We've managed to pull in the old guild hall and we're going to restore some health. Yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thank you all for um, taking part in the writing. Again, if any of you want to get involved, please do let me know in the comments and I can add you to the Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. to fear the world. It has gone mad. <laughs>